They were, and Rick, we're just finding out new information tonight that a lot of the family members who are gathered at another location were just told that they will not receive another update about their loved ones until 10 a.m. in the morning. And this was obviously upsetting to them. Right now, the only information that they're receiving are from the few victims that are being treated behind me in this trauma hospital, facing a lot of reality for them, having to face a lot of reality that if their loved one is still in the club, that they didn't make it. Earlier, I talked with a city commissioner who says, although this is a tragedy, she says it will not break Orlando. You're nothing but thugs and murderers. Hurt and anger expressed by Orlando's first openly gay city commissioner, Patty Sheehan, quickly followed by a reminder of a resilient community targeted by a terrorist. We, as a gay community, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender community, are a people who love. And if you think that you're going to stab at the heart of us by doing this horrible, violent act, you're not, because we love. Orlando is a tale of two cities, one of grief and desperation and one of community. At Orlando Regional Medical Center, you have friends and family desperate for any information on loved ones. I know that they're doing the best they can, but just knowing that he's lying in there without no one identifying him is killing me. Sarah Lopez says her best friend Jimmy was at Pulse nightclub last night and she believes he was hurt. The last thing um, that we heard of him was that he was with a friend. His friend ran and when he looked back, he saw Jimmy on the floor. And then there's this city, the one of giving and hope. Blood donation centers across Central Florida with lines of people more than 100 deep wait outside in 90 degree plus heat for hours to give blood. They put out the call for donations and people not only answered the call, those who couldn't give showed up with water and snacks for those giving blood. And it's great to see this outpouring in the community, everybody volunteering out here. Um, it's, it's really heartwarming in, you know, in the wake of this incident. Right now, you're looking at video of the hotel where family members are gathering. That's where I told you they were very upset after they were just told that they would not receive another update about their family until 10 in the morning. Obviously, a lot of them wondering if their loved one is still in the club and didn't make it. Again, the only information that a lot of them are receiving are those who are being treated inside of this trauma hospital here in Orlando. Back here live, I really want to give you a perspective of where this this hospital is located. It's less than a half a mile from Pulse nightclub where the shooting took place. A lot of people are saying that undoubtedly helped save a lot of lives. We're reporting live in Orlando. Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News.